Many women who have just been diagnosed with vaginal prolapse report being reluctant to engage in sexual activity out of concern that it would exacerbate or aggravate their prolapse. The bulge may also make individuals feel undesirable, which makes them unwilling to engage in sexual activity. Although a vaginal bulge may come as an unpleasant surprise, it usually does not signal danger. While an evaluation is necessary, there is no need for concern unless there are alarming symptoms present, such as bleeding or pain. Because prolapse is caused by the pelvic organs, losing their support due to a variety of factors, childbirth, menopause, inherited tendencies slash family, history, prolonged cortisone use, smoking, chronic constipation, prolonged slash frequent straining, etc., it frequently starts out gradually, before becoming more severe. As it is rarely painful and usually symptoms only appear when the ability to empty the bladder or bowel is compromised or the tissue is protruding far enough to become irritated, many women are completely ignorant of the problem. Although the prolapse itself is only one aspect of the issue, discomfort can occasionally accompany prolapse from urinary tract infections or a feeling of pressure. It's normal and healthy to be sexual. There are many solutions that can help individuals and couples successfully enjoy sexuality, even if many physical issues may make it more difficult to have sex. How to improve sex with a prolapse? 1. Lubrication. Good lubrication can reduce physical discomfort and help promote pleasurable sensations. Prolapse is associated with thinning of the vaginal walls so lubrication can improve comfort as well as arousal. 2. Relaxation and mindfulness. Choose the right time and situation that helps you and your partner feel relaxed with sex. Consider your own needs and enjoyment, not only those of your partner. Try to stay in the moment by focusing your attention on foreplay, physical sensations and or closeness rather than negative self-talk where possible. 3. Positioning for sex. If your prolapse feels uncomfortable during intercourse you may like to try changing position from the traditional missionary position, lying on your back, to another position. Instead side lying with your back to your male partner will help you better control of the depth of penetration. This may help you relax and reduce physical discomfort. Side lying position can also be useful to improve sensation for you and your partner if your vaginal tissues feel lax loose. 4. Regular Pelvic Floor Exercises Both women and men can benefit from regular pelvic floor exercises, kegels, when it comes to improving and maintaining sexual satisfaction. Regular pelvic floor exercises can help a woman's sexual arousal and ability to achieve orgasm. Pelvic floor exercises will also help to improve the pelvic floor muscle support for prolapse tissues and can help to reduce prolapse symptoms and encourage the prolapse to sit higher within the pelvis. Pelvic floor exercises for men can also improve sex by increasing their ability to maintain an erection by preventing blood escaping from the erect penis. In fact pelvic floor exercises have been shown to be an effective method for treating erectile dysfunction in men. Dory. 2005. Now, let's talk about some of the common myths around prolapse and sexuality in order to open up a discussion about the topic. First of all, having sex while suffering from uterine or vaginal wall prolapse will not harm anything, and vice versa. Orgasm may aid in bolstering tissues and promoting better and stronger collagen formation around the vagina since it increases blood flow to the area. Although it won't hurt, that doesn't mean it will cure prolapse. Furthermore, prolapse does not necessarily get worse. Prolapse often progresses, but it also happens frequently that it doesn't alter much for a long time. Third, the ability to engage in sexual activity is not immediately terminated when a pessary is implanted to address prolapse. There are some pessaries that are highly compatible with penetrative sex, most notably the ring or dish forms, while others may make sex difficult or impossible. It is frequently possible to continue having sex while the pessary is still in place because these are the most popular pessaries and are quite similar to the diaphragm used for contraception. 
Last but not least, having intercourse is still possible even when there is prolapse as long as it is not painful, is enjoyable for both parties and is comfortable. Regardless of any other physical concerns, a lack of desire should be dealt with in the proper way. In addition, when examining prolapse treatment and sexual dysfunction, all medical conditions should be taken into consideration. Feel free to discuss this with your doctor at any time. Please locate a physician with whom you feel at ease addressing your worries if you are uneasy. Help is unquestionably available. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.